30 Minutes, a new faith-based group in the Northland, will set aside their doctrinal differences and announce an agenda. A new at 6 tonight, Cynthia Newsom is at First Baptist Church in Liberty, where the meeting is about to begin. Cynthia? It is indeed. It starts at 6.30, and the group is called Northland Faith Voices. And this is a big deal because it's Catholic, Baptist, Episcopals, Methodists, people from Unity, and some people who have no connection to faith groups all coming together because they are tired of politics as usual, and they want Missouri state laws and policies to help struggling Missourians. About once a week, Maureen Harris comes to the food pantry at Grace Episcopal Church in Liberty. It took for me to relocate and have to start over to understand and realize the real struggles of life. Maureen is a single mom and part of what's called the working poor. She works two part-time jobs, earning only about $100 a week. She's too poor to get insurance from the government's Affordable Care Act and makes too much money to qualify for Medicaid in Missouri. I try to live healthy and give it to God, you know, and prayerfully one day, you know, I'll be able to obtain benefits. No one who works full time should live in poverty. Reverend Susan McCann of Grace Episcopal Church in Liberty helped organize Northland Faith Voices to help people like Maureen. Too many Missourians are having to choose between putting food on the table for their children or repairing their car or getting health care. And we just think this is a moral issue uh, which needs to be addressed. <laughs> Thank you. And so tonight, Missouri Governor Jay Nixon is expected to be here about 7.30. Some state lawmakers are arriving right now, as well as members of this organization. And they have three messages for lawmakers. These are their three priorities. They want Medicaid expansion. They want a living wage, so that means they want a minimum wage hike. And they also want to end predatory lending. Now, the meeting tonight begins at 6.30, but it's not the end. It's just the beginning. They're going to have rallies at the state capitol, and they're also going to be watching state lawmakers and how they vote. Reporting live in Liberty, Cynthia Newsom, 41 Action News.